Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my VCT EMEA kickoff playoff pickems. I'm going to be going through all three games, letting you guys know who I think is going to make Madrid um, out of these four teams. Uh, certainly not the four teams we expected to make these games, um, but should be very good games nonetheless. Um, we we'll just picking every game, just going through how these teams did in groups, how I think they're going to do in playoffs. Um, I'm not going to be really talking about any of the teams that didn't make the playoffs, just because I'm going to save some of those takes for after Madrid and mainly for like when I have actually watched all the games, I will be tweeting um, like updated player rankings once I have watched all the games. Um, so make sure to go check those out on my Twitter. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of Madrid content after the kickoff events are over. I think I, I had a specific amount planned, but also like the end dates for some of these events changed from what they were on VLR. So kind of confused me, but regardless, um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comments below, who you think is going to make Madrid out of these four teams. And yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start here with the Team Heretics Navi game. Now, Team Heretics went storming through Group A, which in hindsight was probably the hardest group, having Carmen Core, who's also made playoffs here, and Foot, who looked fairly good um, from what I saw. I didn't watch a ton of those games. I think I watched a little bit of the Armin Core foot game, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, they looked fairly okay. Um, it's just Team Heretics 6 and Carmen Core outperform ex outperformed expectations. Mini Boo was fucking insane, which I did not expect. Um, if you watched my player rankings video, did not love him uh, coming out. Boo was, I think he was the best individual player statistically, right? Yeah, the top two right there. Um, and yeah, I thought Benji Fishy looked really good. Um, had a tech I thought was very solid. Um, I don't think he was incredible by any means. Um, who else was the other player? I, and wait, no, not fuck. And Reigns. Reigns was also really good too, playing from home even. Um, I think this team was all around really, really good. Um, really outperformed, ex outperformed expectations. You do expect some regression coming in at some point for this team, um, just because they're outperforming expectations by so much. Um, but overall, I thought they did really, really well in groups. Um, and yeah, I mean, they already outperformed expectations by winning a game. Um, now that they actually have made it to playoffs, or it's not even close. Um, but they're going up against Navi, who one of the most experienced teams of all time, bringing back that FPX team. Um, that one Copenhagen artist looking insane. Um, he's playing the Yoru. He's playing so much other stuff. Um, like, he played the Breach on Split. Um, that's all I really watched, to be fair. Um, but he looked really good on both those roles. I think he, there was a little bit of, like, util dumping that he was doing, where he just, like, sent all of the util in one spot, which isn't ideal on the Breach. You'd hope to see that fixed, but also that just might be the game plan. And he looked good fracking wise on it, so it really doesn't matter. Zipon looks really good on the Rays. And the Sova that I believe he was playing on Breeze, uh, that looked really good. Shawan Smokes has looked fine. I, I still don't understand why they play him on Smokes and not on Initiator, especially when they're playing so much Fade. Um, doesn't make sense to me. But regardless, um, he looked fine on that role. He didn't look bad. Um... Sagetsu, looking pretty good. I thought he got outperformed by Nats in that Liquid game, but wasn't like bad by any means. He was Sagetsu still. And then Angel, I thought, played pretty well as an individual. Some slight trolling here and there, but honestly, less trolling than you'd expect and better fragging than you'd expect in general from him. So that's a good sign. I don't know how much that's going to keep up, but still. Now here... For the individual matchup, I think I just got to take the more experienced team. I think this game has more of a chance of an upset than the Fnatic Carmen Core game does, personally. But I also don't really see a scenario where Heretics wins this game. Even if their individuals are hitting, even if Xiao isn't performing that well, if Sagetsu isn't. I still think the rest of the roster on Navi is good enough to get them over the hump here. 
and make them and make it to Madrid. Um, I was kind of lower on this team coming in, and I think that had more to do with other teams being really good rather than them not being so good. Um, and yeah, I just I don't know. I think this team artist looks better than I thought even, and just in general, I think they should be able to make it out of the um, make it out into Madrid. Um, especially with some of their individuals not performing as well in groups, I think they'll get back to it here. At least one of Shigao, Shao or Shigetsu. Shao Getsu. Um, I almost accidentally said. But then Fnatic Carmen Core. Fnatic playing that one game against Vitality, where Vitality actually looked pretty good. Um, I'll reserve, again, some of my takes about them for after Madrid. But going into that OT on Lotus... I thought they looked fine. I thought they just have so many protocols in place for every single scenario that y it, it makes them almost impossible to beat. You have to really beat them on the individual front and outcall Boaster at the same time, probably. And that's just, it's so difficult to do on any given day that it makes them one of the hardest teams in the world to beat. Carmen Core has looked inconsistent at times, I think. They looked really bad in that Heretics game, but I think the other games they played, they were just so ready for everything that the other team threw at them. Um, so I think when you get into that scenario, when you're playing the best team in your region by far and probably the best team of all time, um, I just I don't see a scenario where Carmen Core wins this game. And I'm going to take Fnatic here. I don't think either of these picks are too shocking. And I'm again going to take just the standard pick, Fnatic, in the Grand Final. Nothing too shocking here, really. I just think Fnatic is the best team in the world right now, and I don't think anyone can really say otherwise. I mean, I think you could make an argument that Na'Vi wins this game specifically, but I still think Fnatic's going further in Madrid. I still think that they're the better team, no matter what the result of this game is, so I'm just going to pick them here. So yeah, those are my EMEA playoff pickums. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this isn't going to be as hot of takes as my uh, America's pickums and probably less hot of takes than um, my Pacific pickums were, even though I picked the two favorites in those games. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, probably for Madrid preview content. I'll be doing like my top 20, my pickums, my power rankings, all that kind of stuff leading up to the event. So make sure to leave like and subscribe, uh, turn notifications on, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you are notified when I post videos like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.